I bet that was attractive. Um, hey, it's Sunday, and I'm just hanging out in my room, which has recently become really dirty, and everything's all over. Got music all over. Clothes. This has food in it, a suitcase. Mostly things that normal people don't use very often. But that's because in three days I am leaving to go to New Orleans. And not only am I leaving, I'm leaving very early in the morning. Our flight isn't even that early, it's at 10 something. We have to be at the airport two hours early, and the airport is, you know, a little more than an hour away from my house. So it's going to be an early morning. And I still need to pack all my stuff. And school starts again tomorrow after our Christmas break. And I feel... I'm, like, nervous. I do... I tend to do really well in school. But I got pneumonia. And that was right around Thanksgiving break. And I came back to school and I was trying to catch up but also stay ahead in my classes. And then, like, Christmas break happened. And I missed... The day before, I missed one of my classes that is kind of hard to catch up in. So, I don't even know what we did. But then there was Christmas break, and I'm going back to school for two days, missing three days, and then I have a week of school before the semester ends. And I, like, I have no idea what we've been doing in my classes. And currently, I have 18 cumulative absences, if you count every class I miss as an absence. Probably 19 now. Plus another... I don't know, like, six or seven more, I don't know. Some of my classes don't count, like my seminary class, that doesn't count as an absence because they don't really mark attendance, but it's a lot. I'll probably have 25 absences at the end of term, which is not good. Like, they get mad at you. They're already kind of mad at me for being gone as much. And I, I had pneumonia. I can't go to school. <sighs> Guess that's the school system for you. And we burned grudges today as a family, which normally we do, like, New Year's Eve night. Um... And you just take, everyone gets a tea candle, you get a big bowl of water, and you put your tea candle in a cupcake paper, and you light it, and you put them in the water and float them, and whoever's burns longest, they have good luck in the next year. And you take little slips of paper, and you write grudges on them, you know, things you regret, or grudges you're still holding on to, and you burn them, and that's supposed to help you let go of them. And then you write, we write out, um, the best things that happened in the past year, and our predictions for the next year. And they always end up really funny, just because of our family. So we were a little late on that, but it was because we were up in Salt Lake on New Year's. And that is about all that's going on. I think I'm going to take you to New Orleans, but I don't know if I'll be able to vlog every day because I seem to be quite busy and also nobody in my band knows that I vlog. And it kind of makes me nervous vlogging around people because I always feel like they judge me. So, um. Huh. You'll get to see some of it. And I want to, like, put the camera on my stand and, like, film one of the songs we play. But I don't know if that's actually a good idea. We'll see.